and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your so happy yarn host, Jennifer. <laughs> Today, we are talking about cotton. And not just any cotton, Premier Cotton. I do not have all of the types of Premier Cotton that are available on my desk. I decided not to feature the Home Cotton or the Just Cotton in this episode because I have compared those in another episode. Today we are solely focusing on the three brand new cottons that are being featured currently on PremierYarns.com. I am very happy to show these to you because these colors, look at these colors guys. These colors are amazing, outstanding, demanding. This lady can't sing. What am I talking about? Anyway, <laughs> we got some yarn for you. All right. So the first yarn, I already showed you the Cotton Sprout. I showed you that in a previous episode. And of course, I will link that video below because that is the first yarn that they came out with. That is the first yarn they featured. That is the first yarn that I purchased. And then yesterday's video featured the Cotton Batik. We talked all about the Cotton Batik. I showed you the, the difference between this and the Universal Cotton Supreme Batik. And we talked about that. And I will link that video below. But today, we have a new cotton. Afternoon Cotton. Because everybody needs a little cotton in the afternoon. Um, the Afternoon Cotton is a brand new yarn just released on the website. It is 100% Egyptian Giza mercerized cotton. Now, mercerized cotton can be used for kitchen type things. I personally think it's a little bit too fancy to use in your kitchen. I mean, you absolutely could, but... This type of cotton is really made for wearables, stuff you want close to your skin, stuff that's going to be, you know, draped on your body. It is meant to be on you. It is beautiful. <laughs> now, let's talk about the feel of it. Mercerized cotton, for the most part, when you're working it with it, has a more stiff feel to it. It is not as, it is nowhere near as soft as the Cotton Batik, which is my favorite. The cotton sprout is very soft, but you, like I said in a previous video, is you can feel the, uh, you can feel the twist in it a little bit, which you cannot feel any twist in the cotton boutique. It is just soft and smooth and lovely. This, same thing. You can feel the twist a little bit, and it has a little bit of stiffness to it, but I promise you, that stiffness goes away when you wash it. <laughs> it gets more soft, it gets more drapey, it gets more, and even working with it, it gets more soft and drapey and, and more, you know, comfortable to wear. I really, really love this cotton for wearables. And let's talk about price points for these three yarns. The afternoon cotton is $3.99, and it is a pretty small skein, but that is, that is typical with, um, mercerized cotton they always come in a smaller skein so the cotton boutique has 180 yards the afternoon cotton has 136 yards and the cotton sprout has 230 yards so if you're going to go bang for your buck and you want some solid cotton i would probably go with the cotton sprout you get a little bit more oh price points for all of these so that the afternoon cotton is 3.99 the cotton boutique and the cotton sprout are 4.99 per skein currently so the cotton, the afternoon cotton, let's, I'm opening the website so we can look at these colors, guys. Oh, <laughs> I love the new colors that they're coming out with these, these new yarns. It seems like all their yarns are like so vibrant. This comes in 39 different colors for this afternoon cotton. Now I picked spring, summer colors that spring green springing summer to me and so that's the three colors that i got which is let's see thistle and goldenrod i love goldenrod and deep jade so those are the three colors that i got look at that isn't that beautiful oh so pretty so i will of course this is just me showing you the yarn. This is not me giving it a review. This is not me telling you. I have not worked up any of this cotton yarn. So <laughs> we're going to work a little swatch. We're just going to work the swatch in crochet. At a later date, maybe I will work up a knit stitch to you for your, your knitters. Knitting takes me a little bit longer. So, ta-da! We didn't have a huge yarn barf. 
That is a success for me. I'll show you guys what this stuff looks like worked up real quick. Because I want to be thorough. I want to be thorough. Now this is thin, what number weight is this? It says it's a lightweight number three. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, if this is a lightweight number three, I don't know what a lightweight number three is. This is very, very thin. This is as thin as a number one I am currently working with in another brand. Just saying, it's very thin. This is a G-hook, I should tell you. Right there, how skinny this yarn is. Now I'm going to tell you right now, it's gliding off the hook. I can't even feel the yarn. Like There's no snag or drag at all. Although, I will say, I'm working with a furls hook. <laughs> and there's not a lot of yarns that cause drag on a furls hook. But this is very, very slick, smooth. And you can see there's a shine to it. Just a little bit of a sheen. Which is typical with your mercerized cottons. And this is the fancy kind. It's Egyptian Giza mercerized cotton. Noises. People are going in and out of the front door. One, two, three. Oh, Mr. Cinnamon's leaving. I don't know where he's going. Probably grocery store. He's making a special meal for the niece tonight. She accepted her uh, invitation to her college today. She's officially a student. I'm so proud of her. So freaking proud of her. All right, so here is our little swatchy swatchy doodle poodle. Oh, and we used exactly what we pulled out. That was perfect. Let me zoom you guys in. I feel like you guys are out kind of far. This is what it looks like worked up. We did singles, half doubles, and then doubles. Very pretty. Works up really easily. Frogs easily. I didn't even have to frog it to tell you it was going to frog up easily because it's got a really smooth, a really smooth texture to it. And these colors, man. And my camera is doing it perfect justice of how vibrant these colors are. Look at that. That's so pretty. <laughs> People always wonder, like, how I pick the colors that go together. Like, how am I so good at picking colors? First of all, because, you know, I have a trained eye because of the photography. I have done a lot of studying and schooling and working in the photography business. So I just know what colors tend to go together. But also, I just pick colors that I like. And if they go together, like these, I think are beautiful together, I put them together. And if I get them and I'm like, oh, that purple's ugly, I put just, you know, make that into something else. Did I tell you everything about this? 137, 136 yards, 50 grams, 100% Egyptian Giza mercerized cotton. Goldenrod, machine wash, warm, lay flat to dry. Says it's a number three. I disagree with that. <laughs> It feels thinner than a number three. It says 3.75 millimeter hook, 3.5 needles. It's got the Ocotec Standard 100. It is safe against, it is tested and approved safe against 350 plus harmful substances. So you can use this for like your babies. There's not going to be anything like if they suck on it, it's not going to make them sick. And you know, it's not going to make them break out into rashes. It's not going to like, you know, whatever. Well, I don't recommend letting your children suck on clothing, but, you know, kids do weird stuff. <laughs> and then we're going to move on to the Cotton Sprout, 230 yards, 100 gram ball, 100% cotton. This says it's a lightweight number three. Also, I'm going to hold the two strands next to each other so you can get a, a feel for that. It says four millimeter needles, recommended five millimeter hook. So I'm probably going to have to get a bigger hook, but I think we're going to try it with this hook just to see. Machine wash, warm, tumble, dry, medium. Again, it has that Ocotec standard 100 on it. 
All Premier Yarns is made in Turkey, so you don't ever have to ask this. This is the color turquoise or turquoise, depending on where you're from or how you want to say it. All right, let's see. All right, first things first. I can't get the label out. <laughs> I can't get the label out. The label is broke. The label is broke. Oh, man. Now, sometimes... I can center pull from these balls, and today is that day. Look at that. That was pretty easy. All right. Now, this says it's a lightweight number three. This says it's a lightweight number three. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? That is significantly thinner. <laughs> that is, I hope that shows just how... Don't mind my dried nails. But that is how much thinner it is that's a lot so like i said i'm going to use the same hook even though a recommended hook is bigger than this one we're just gonna go for the flow might give us a better idea this has more soft um fluffy feel to it which doesn't surprise me at all I actually wasn't going to do swatches today but we're doing swatches I'm not going to swatch the cotton batik because I just swatched that in knit and crochet in the video yesterday so if you want to see what the cotton batik looks like crocheted in knit go check that video out and you'll have all of the information that you need to know but today we're going to talk about the cotton sprout really Really, Premier? Hang on, let me grab scissors. That's what? A foot in? Wow. Let's try again. <laughs> not cool, Premier, not cool. Although, I, really, you have to blame the mill because this stuff is milled in Turkey. Don't mind them wild kids outside. They're screaming at each other. <laughs> they like to come into the yard. actually in the living room playing a video game he earned video game time he's such a good boy yesterday we were doing yard work and the girls my daughter and my niece they were out there they were busting their butt they were tearing down honeysuckle now if you know anything about honeysuckle you know tearing it down is not easy off of the back fence they tore they put work in and he wanted to be a part of it, but he couldn't work the lobbers. And so, you know, I didn't want him cutting his arm off or hurting himself. All right, so here's the thing. The thing. Yeah, there's the thing. There's one. <laughs> here's, I should probably put the double crochets of frog back in here, huh? What the heck? Oh, I got all confused. I was like, why is there a line right there? So anyway, he was out there doing his big boy chores. Mind you, Lucas is only six, okay? But he's the size of probably a 10-year-old. Like, he's just tall. He's almost as big as my 17-year-old niece. And he's just, he's a large child. He always has been. He came out big. Well, no, he didn't, but he grew quick. <laughs> he, he's always been off the charts for his height and his head. He's got a big head. He was out there busting his butt like he wasn't cutting the weeds, but he was out there pulling the weeds away from the fence when they cut them and piling them on tarp and then help dragging them up to the front of the house so that him and daddy could take them to the dump. Like he busted his butt yesterday and he needed it. I got so much energy out of that kid and today he was a lot calmer and just happier. <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right, so here 
I put the double crochets back in. So these both say that there are three. That's with the same hook. That's the same sample. <laughs> same amount of stitches. Yeah. So that's definitely the cotton sprout is definitely a thicker, bigger yarn. Definitely softer. But I'm going to tell you that I I'm going to guarantee you any of these, any of these yarns. Let's pull you back out a little bit. Any of these yarns are going to be amazing for your summer wearables. And you better believe Cinnamon Stitches is going to be making some cin some cinnamon. Yeah, I'm going to be making some cinnamon. <laughs> I'm going to be making some wearables out of some of these products in the future. Hopefully for the channel. If not, definitely for myself. I'm super excited about these new yarns that Premiere is featuring. Um, check out the description box below to find more information on the Cotton Sprout and the Cotton Batik in other videos. And uh, definitely, definitely check out the cotton section in PremiereYarns.com website. Some of these yarns probably already are, but I know that they probably will be if they're not already be available at Hershner's and possibly Mary Maxim. So like if you want to shop around to get your best price, hey, I'm all for that. But yeah, this yarn is all, I love all of it. They all have their own, their own benefits and their own downsides. Um, the, the afternoon cotton, some people are not going to like working with it. There are people that just don't like mercerized cotton, and I totally get that. It does, it is harder to work with. It's harder on the hands. It is a lot stiffer to work with, but it does work up into a beautiful project. And any of these yarns would be beautiful for my newest poncho, honestly. <laughs> it would work up beautiful into my poncho, the honeysuckle poncho would be beautiful in this cotton sprout just saying but yeah i really like these I really like these cotton sprout cotton sprout's got to be my second favorite the cotton batik is my favorite you guys know i love colors i like variegated yarns love self-striping yarns and this yarn is very so super soft this is probably my favorite yarn of all times i just really enjoy working with this I probably like this better than I like the Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Acrylic. It's just, it's a nice yarn. And I like cotton because it breathes better in the summertime. And you can just make so many things with it. I just love that yarn. Second favorite, Cotton Sprout. I really like this. This is a really good new product. This definitely, up until now, like, Premier has had some cottons but like mostly it's been their home cotton and their home cotton is fantastic. Like I have used it for wearables. It is just fine for wearables, but the cotton sprout is 100% cotton. It takes your garments up a notch. It just makes them just a little bit fancier, a little bit nicer, definitely a little bit softer. And I can't wait to see how this works up when it's washed and dried and see if it gets softer that way. And then the afternoon cotton is my third favorite. But it's not a bad cotton at all. I'm just not a big fan of little tiny skeins. And mercerized cotton can be stiff and drying out to some people. But that is my opinion, my review, my whatever you want to call this, my unboxing of the new yarns at PremierYarns.com. Thank you once again for watching this. I really, truly appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate you guys giving me your feedback because... Most of the time, you guys are just super respectful. And if you have a differing opinions, hey... It's all good. I like hearing different opinions as long as everybody's respectful. And, um, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. You have a fantastic day. And go eyeball some beautiful, beautiful yarn on PremierYarns.com. See you in the next one. Bye.